After nearly two decades in business, a family-owned daycare in East El Paso will be shutting its doors soon. A loss in the community that parents say will be felt. The owner says it's due to an array of issues that daycares are facing across the board. KTSM 9 News reporter Jesus Baltazar spoke with the owner about why this is happening. This daycare takes their kids to school, picks up our kids, they provide food and everything, and it's just an extra help for all of us parents, especially the single mothers that are out here. So here they treat them like family member, and they had them since they were like a month and a half, so it's going to be really hard for, for us. Chacon and Martinez are some of many parents with kids who worry they might not be able to find another child care center that can match little footsteps, care, and flexibility. But the owner said their decision to close was inevitable. Well, I think a lot of daycares, they might not admit it, but I think a lot of us are struggling um, with low enrollment and the high cost of groceries. Gonzalez says they have been forced to continuously raise their rates pricing out parents who can't afford them. We can't raise our prices anymore. You know, it, it, we've fallen into a vicious cycle where we can't raise our prices because families can't afford higher daycare rates, and so we're kind of stuck in the middle. On top of that, Gonzalez says Texas's Child Care Services Program has been offering very low reimbursement rates for the low-income families that do qualify. The final blow, they have had to compete with a federally funded Head Start program just a few miles down the street. It's been a very difficult decision. We, all of our staff is like family to us. Um, so it's been very hard, but it's been something that we, we decided was the right time to do. That was Jesus Baltazar reporting. To learn more about this story, you can always visit our website, ktsm.com.